A few years back, we decided we wanted to build this gigantic 3D printer uh, to print with concrete. And we decided that we wanted to use readily available materials, stuff that everybody could buy. And uh, we eventually ended up using this lighting truss as the basic structure of the 3D printer. Uh, all the axes is uh, basically made out of plywood, ro roller skate wheels, or skateboard wheels, and uh, stepper motors, simple materials, steel wires that wound up and this all work actually works pretty well. When it comes to the set axis, the going up and down axis, it rep represents a little bit of a problem. Basically, we have these four corners of the structure that we need to lift simultaneously. And the original approach was to run wires from each corner through pulleys to a central point where we had one large mechanism that would lift everything up. Uh, that represented a little bit of a problem since when you pull in one corner of the of the structure, the whole structure flexes and bends and you don't get an even lift. So what we decided to try and do was to use these car winches, which is basically a one you would mount on the front of your truck. This one, each of these ones are like battery powered, 12 volts, and they'll pull 1700 kilos. What we need basically is to lift something like 75 kilos on each corner. So these are, this seems like a good choice. The only problem is that if you have four of these, they need to be coordinated. So somehow we need to make a system that will allow us to synchronize, in a synchronized way, lift each corner of the 3D printer. And uh, thus we decided to modify these winches and add some extra sensors and electronics to make that happen.